The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is changing how we understand the universe, and one of its most exciting discoveries is the planet called Proxima b. What JWST has found could completely change the way we think about life beyond Earth. Proxima b is located in the Proxima Centauri system, which is the closest star system to us, only about 4.2 light years away. That might sound far, but in space terms, it's actually right next door. Because of its closeness, Proxima b has always been a top target for scientists searching for habitable planets. The planet orbits very close to its star, at a distance of just 7.3 million kilometers. For comparison, Earth is about 150 million kilometers from the Sun. This means Proxima b is about 20 times closer to its star than we are to ours. As a result, a year on Proxima b, the time it takes to orbit its star, lasts only 11.2 Earth days. That's incredibly fast. But this close distance also comes with some serious risks. The star Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf, which is much smaller and cooler than our Sun. However, red dwarfs are very active, especially in terms of magnetic activity and solar flares. These flares are huge bursts of energy that can blast nearby planets with dangerous radiation. JWST has observed that Proxima Centauri sends out massive solar flares, some of which are over 100 times stronger than the biggest ones we've ever seen from our own sun. One flare recorded in April 2021 could have completely destroyed any atmosphere on Proxima b. If a planet doesn't have a strong atmosphere, it becomes vulnerable to space. Radiation, solar wind, and high-energy particles can strip away any chance of life. Some scientists believe that Proxima b might not have any atmosphere left at all. But there is some hope. It's possible that the planet has managed to hold onto a thin atmosphere, maybe made up of heavier gases like carbon dioxide or nitrogen. These gases could provide some protection against the radiation from Proxima Centauri. One of the most important features that could help protect the planet is a magnetic field. Earth has a magnetic field generated by its core and it plays a big role in shielding us from solar radiation. If Proxima b has a similar magnetic field, it could help the planet retain its atmosphere and possibly support life. However, JWST also shows that Proxima Centauri's own magnetic field is extremely strong. It might interfere with Proxima b's magnetic field, weakening it or even stopping it from forming in the first place. That makes the planet's situation even more complex. Another big issue is that Proxima b might be tidally locked. That means one side of the planet always faces the star, while the other side is always in darkness. This creates extreme temperature differences between the two sides. The star-facing side would be blazing hot, like a never-ending desert, constantly bombarded by radiation. The dark side would be freezing cold, trapped in permanent night, possibly colder than anything on Earth. But the most interesting area is the twilight zone, the narrow strip of land between the hot and cold sides. This area might have milder temperatures and could be the only place on the planet where liquid water exists. And where there's liquid water, there could be life. Some scientists are especially curious about the idea that underground oceans might exist on Proxima b just like moons in our solar system, Europa and Enceladus. Proxima b might have vast oceans beneath its surface. These oceans could be heated from within by the planet's core or by the strong gravitational pull from its close orbit. If such oceans exist, they could provide a stable environment for life, protected from the harsh surface conditions. Microbes or other simple organisms might be able to survive under the ice, just like the ones we think could live beneath Europa's icy shell. JWST has also captured data suggesting that Proxima b's surface is rocky, like Earth. But with the extreme radiation and temperature swings, the surface would be very different from what we know here. The desert side might be covered in cracked, sun-blasted rock, while the frozen side could be coated in thick layers of ice. Even if life can't survive on the surface, the conditions underground are much more stable. Deep beneath the surface, water could remain in liquid form, possibly warmed by geothermal activity. This brings up more questions. Does Proxima b have a liquid core? Could it generate a magnetic field? How thick is its crust? The answers to these questions will help scientists figure out if life could ever survive there, 
or if the planet is just a dead rock in space. One thing we do know. Proxima b is not a second Earth, at least not yet. It faces too many challenges, from radiation and flares, to atmosphere loss and temperature extremes. But that doesn't mean it's unimportant. In fact, it might be one of the most important planets we've ever studied, because it shows us the limits of what life can survive. If life can exist there, it would have to be extremely tough, maybe unlike anything we've ever imagined. It could be microbes hidden under the ice, or maybe life has found a way to survive in the twilight zone. Maybe Proxima b has no life at all, but studying it could still teach us more about what makes a planet habitable. The James Webb Space Telescope is just getting started. The more we learn about Proxima b, the more we'll understand about the possibility of life in other solar systems. This little planet, only a few light years away, might be holding onto big secrets about the universe. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.